Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb, all smiles clinch the division and the number two seat. Where's the hat? Uh, I want something bigger than that. All right, we got it. All right. The play. We can win the game. We're going to open it up. We're going to go fast tempo. Defense, get after Jordan Love. You can't give him that much time. You do what you're supposed to do, we'll win this game. We had such great expectation and we had hope for this team and uh, uh, thought that we were aligned in a great shape, in great shape, and uh, uh, it didn't happen for us. And oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I cannot believe I am making this video in week one of the playoffs. So make sure you like and subscribe to stay up to date with more NFL and football vids. They couldn't even get past the first round of the playoffs. They couldn't get past the Packers who barely made it into the playoffs. The Packers are nine and eight on the season and just absolutely dominated the Cowboys. They obliterated them. They outscored them. They out toughed them. They look better on offense. They look better on defense. But I'll just say this, every single one of you, you know how hard we've worked. I don't need to have people pointing the fingers one thing or another. You get your rear end in there and you play the way you know how to play. We can win the game. We're going to open it up. We're going to go fast tempo. Defense, get after Jordan Love. You can't give him that much time. You do what you're supposed to do. We'll win this game. All right. That's got oh, Michael fighting. He's got this is one of the youngest teams in the league. They have a very, there's just not much experience on this Packers team. I mean, especially on offense, Jordan Love is a young quarterback. The receivers are young. The oldest playmakers on this team are like Aaron Jones. This team is young and they just handed it to this Cowboys defense, who's supposed to be one of the best defenses in the league with Bland and Gilmore, Lawrence, Parsons, this is supposed to be one of the best teams in the league. It's supposed to be the second best team in the NFC. They looked horrible at home. Like, how, where do you go from here? Class personified. We know all these things. We say all of these things. But have you noticed that most analysts have gotten to a point where we preface anything we say about him by bringing that up? The time has come to stop all of this. Sure. We're talking football. Mm. We're not talking right. anything else. We're not talking yes. about your character. We're not talking about you as a man. We're not talking about how good of a person football you are. We're, talk we're talking about the fact that come the month of January, you plummet. You have a winning record in every single month but January. That is not an accident. That is not an accident. So we don't give a damn about Dak Prescott's endorsement of Mike McCarthy. A matter of fact, if we do give a damn about it, it should be for the opposite reasons. The fact that Dak Prescott endorsed him is more of a reason he should be gone. Because he can't seem to get more out of Dak Prescott than we need him, we need him to get out of him. Now, as it pertains to Mike McCarthy, let's be clear. He has to go. He has to go. And I'm going to tell you why. It's not just about the 12 wins during the regular season, but you wet the bed in the postseason. It's about the fact that, that, that Jerry Jones is 81 years of age. It's about the fact that when we look at the personnel on the Dallas Cowboys, we expect better come postseason time. It's about the mandate that you took the job knowing what the mandate existed and you failed to live up to it for four Correct. years. That's what this is about. And how does it end, Dio? You walk into a postseason game. A postseason game on your home turf. Kansas City won at home. Okay, Houston won at home when everybody was talking about Cleveland. Detroit won at home. Who's the one team that lost the home game? The team that was 16-0 and over the last 16 home games. That's the Dallas Cowboys. And how did they lose? Because we're literally looking at them and saying uh, they're ill-prepared. They got yeah. outplayed. We saw Musgrave wide open. We saw Dobbs wide open. I'm talking about you didn't see a defender in the vicinity. We saw more hits of Dan Quinn, who also has to go, by the way. We saw more hits of Dan Quinn on the big screen than we saw Dallas defenders in the vicinity of Green Bay Packer wide receivers. That's what we're talking about here. They were ill-prepared for a playoff game, and it's not about them being inept, Dan. It's about the fact that you got guys that are available now, a Harbaugh, a Belichick, that you know something like that would not happen. Now, the Cowboys were supposed to win. I expected them, the Cowboys to be in the NFC Championship.
to beat the Packers willingly to go into the second round to win that matchup and go to the NFC Championship. Because if it wasn't NFC Championship and hopefully go to the Super Bowl for the Cowboys, it's kind of like the same old story for the Cowboys. We're good in the regular season. We play good enough in the regular season to make it to the playoffs. And we just can't get over this hump, whether it's coaching, whether it's offense, defense, whether it's Dak Prescott. But this year, it just seems like it was the whole team. They just did not come to play. They weren't ready. They weren't like, like you, this has to be disappointing. Whether there's going to be changes in the front office, whether there's going to be changes with coaching, players. So this is uh, yeah, that degree. I know how disappointed everybody is. It's all my comment. In terms of playoff losses, where does this one rank for you? Well, I don't have, uh, uh, really, I can't reach back and look at a playoff loss, uh, uh, but this uh, uh, seems like the, uh, the, the most uh, painful uh, because uh, we all had such great expectation and we had hope for this team and uh, uh, thought that we were aligned in a great shape, in great shape, and uh, uh, it didn't happen for us. And it's as fresh on me right now as it is on anybody else, but I don't uh, I won't get into uh, any uh, of the uh, addressing of any aspects of any part of it, uh, from uh, the coaching to the players to what's around the corner. Uh, uh, on a personal basis, I'm, I'm full. And so uh, uh, not that there's any world's smallest violin for me being full. But I get that. I understand that. And uh, I know where the responsibility starts and ends. And I've got that real clear, and I know that. But that's not the point. The point is that uh, uh, I'm uh, uh, disappointed for everybody. I mean, something has to change to lose this bad to a team who wasn't even a top team coming into the year. They barely made it to the playoffs. They didn't even win 10 games in the regular season. They've been banged up all season and they beat you straight out of the gate. I mean, you made Jordan Love look like Aaron Rodgers. Jordan Love was in there, throwing the ball, stood in there, just making all the right plays. Couldn't get to the quarterback. You couldn't stop the run. This is just a bad performance for the Cowboys. Now, even if they won and it was like the Packers were giving them a tough time, I would still say, what are you doing? Because the Packers shouldn't even be in the same realm as you. Now, obviously, it's just like you come up short all the time, but this time they didn't come up short. They just got completely manhandled by just a team that's not supposed to even be there. Just remember... This was the all-time case of America's team turning into America's tease, as in teasing us, taking us right to the brink, where it looked like it was meant to be. Michael and I kept saying, the Jimmy curse is broken. I don't know, maybe there's a Jerry curse. I don't know. Because we had it in the palms of our hands. <clears throat> we had back-to-back -back home playoff games that we should have won. Whoever would come next week, you know, whoever it would be, we could beat them at home. We could beat Green Bay. We could beat Detroit. We could beat Tampa if they win. And finally, we'd at least get back to our first NFC Championship game in 28 years. Philadelphia collapsed right on time to hand us the division. We had it. And, and then we didn't have it because this wasn't the typical... Cowboys are an accident waiting to happen. This wasn't the typical Cowboys do Cowboys things. This was 27 to nothing before halftime. I'm, I'm in shock. Jerry's in shock. Jerry said, I'm floored. I was on the floor last night in the first half saying, what the hell was this? I've never seen it. It's, it's such a disgrace that nobody saw coming. But I mean, I guess shout out to the Packers. Shout out to them going into Dallas and beating the Cowboys once again in the playoffs. I mean, just playing absolutely amazing in the first half, almost shutting them out in the first half. Now, whether it was just bad offense and miscommunications with the receivers with Dak, but he just looked lost in that first half. I mean, couldn't get the ball to CeeDee Lamb, not seeing defenders down the field, throwing bad interceptions. I, I really thought this Cowboys team was a different team. Um, Obviously, they had some ups and downs throughout the year but 
when they dominated, they dominated. I mean, easily scoring 30 and 40 points. Um, but it's just, I don't know. It's it's so tough because it's like now it's like if if someone lost you the game, you, you could point at that person like, oh, yeah, he did not show up. But the whole team did not show up, whether it whether it comes down to play calling whether it comes down to scheming your star players open, whether that comes down to the defense just not competing with a team that has been mediocre all season. It's like, where do you point the finger? There's too many fingers to point on this Cowboys team, on this Cowboys organization. And of course, you know, sports media is going to go crazy with this one for the rest of the week. I thought they were a team that were going to go all the way to the NFC Championship, at least. I thought I knew they were better than the Packers. They can beat the, the Rams. They can, I believe they can beat the Lions. I think their toughest team to probably play in that play in this in this year's 2024 playoffs were probably the 49ers. So I think that's where I thought they were going to have struggles with. But guess not. They lost to a team who essentially has a rookie quarterback. I mean, this is Jordan Love's first year on the job, a full time quarterback a full-time starter and they made him look like a future hall of famer a franchise quarterback and honestly after watching the packers dominate the cowboys they might be the packers and the houston texans in the super bowl and if you want more football vids like this make sure you like and subscribe i'm out of here see you later this is game on the line dak prescott cd lamb all smiles clinch the division and the number two seat where's the hat uh i want something bigger than that uh